The most overlooked opportunities in Excel are definitely the visual design features. Uh, nobody ever seems to get trained on these, but they allow you to build really cool complex dashboards using a UI that looks essentially exactly the same as PowerPoint. I've said it here many times before, but if you can build it in PowerPoint, there's a decent chance that you can build it in Excel. Here's where people tend to get stuck. Everybody's used to this kind of data layout, rows, columns, cells, and you're thinking when you see a dashboard, oh, well, you must have built that by formatting these cells, adding borders, background colors, that sort of thing. And the key concept for everything I build in Excel is to break outside of the grid layout. The grid layout's not your friend. It limits us, it prevents us from doing complex designs. Everything you see here is not actually in a cell, it's floating on top. These little sections are made using rectangles. Under the insert tab, you got shapes, and one of them is rectangles. The charts are all pivot charts. And the metrics, this is the thing that people get hung up on. The metrics are not actually in a cell. This is a text box that's been inserted. You can see the option to do that up here. And instead of actually typing a value in there, we've just gone to our formula bar, hit equals, gone to our cell, selected the cell we wanted, hit enter, boom, the text box is now gonna autofill with whatever value is in the cell. This is what really gives us the flexibility we need to start building more complex, more visually engaging dashboards. If we were stuck formatting individual cells, we could never create stuff like this. It would all be this kind of same boxy, standard Excel layout that you're used to. My piece of advice for people, break outside of the grid layout. If you want templates like this one behind me, um, you can check out my profile. I have a whole newsletter where I send out free templates like this to get people started. Anyway, hope that's helpful everybody. Have a good one and I will be back with more this week.